Welcome back to week 14. This is video two. Week 14 is all about marketing again. And this time we're talking about blogs and if you should be listing pricing on your website. And the tie-in between those two topics is really around SEO. This is the final video for the week. And let's dig right in talking about listing prices on your website. If you are a business that offers a service, then you've probably questioned whether or not you should have your prices on your website or not. It, and honestly, once again, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a preference thing, right? So should you list your prices on your website? Well, here's, here's the number one tip that we give people. If you want to list your prices on your website and you sell a service, how comfortable are you having the conversation about price? If you're really uncomfortable talking about money, talking about price, then listing the prices on your website is a really good way to let people know up front what your services cost. And then you don't have to worry about sticker shock because they've already seen your prices. Downside, they'll see your prices and if you're not really great at demonstrating value through words and through testimonials and through examples on your website you might lose sales that you would otherwise get so there's a, you know there's give and take on both sides we talk we don't have our prices for our services on our website and the reason we don't is honestly most of our services are customized so if you called us for a for a growth strategy We'd spend time getting to know you, understanding exactly what you're trying to do, what's already in place, what work do we really have to do, and we price it accordingly. It's not just a you know, one size fits all for us. We wanna really make sure that one, we're maximizing the value that we're giving you and that we're able to completely provide the solution without any issues. And that really means having some upfront conversations. So we don't just have this blanket bucket pricing for growth strategies. We kind, we kind of have blanket pricing for our startup services, but honestly, they're also modifiable depending on what you've already done. If you've already done some of the legwork, then you don't need the whole package and we're not going to charge you for something you don't need. So in that instance, in those instances, our prices aren't on our website for our courses, our prices are on the website. We have no problem, but we also believe that the courses should be able to be purchased without even having to have a conversation. We're happy to have one. I mean, you can book a call and talk to us at any point. We are happy to have the conversations, but they're not necessarily needed for some of those lower ticket items, lower priced items. And so in that regard, we put the prices on the website and you can kind of decide, do you want to buy it or not? And if you do, and you just want to click to purchase, go for it. But if you also want to talk to us, we're happy to have those conversations. So when you think about factors to consider for putting your pricing on your website, the first thing is like, what are you selling? If it's a product, most products, I think it's a, people list the prices on the website. Um, in some instances, they don't, or they'll say call for pricing, which is a great solution. If you want to have a conversation, but you don't want to put the pricing on the website. Call for pricing is always good. Um, you also might want to consider the price, right? So if you are a coach, for example, and you offer a coaching service and your price is $500 an hour, you can list that on your website. So people know up front. you can also, you know, list call for pricing or book an initial consultation or whatever. Those are all ways to handle and sort of control when you have that pricing conversation. And it's really preference. It's, it, it is, there's, I don't believe there's a right or a wrong answer to if you put prices on your website. Now, if you're selling like, you know, a $15 bottle of perfume or lip gloss, then yes, you want the prices on the website and that's click to buy, you know, material goods, people will just buy them. But if it's a service and you need to have the conversation or if you're, you know, building a fence or a barn for somebody, then you probably want to, you know, have a conversation. Plus, if there's any variable pricing involved at all. So if you have material goods where the price varies frequently for you, so if you build decks and the wood, the cost of wood varies consistently, you're not, you don't want to list your prices on your website because you may end up losing money more frequently than not. So that's one of the things that you need to consider is material goods and 
if those variable costs are changing so frequently that it doesn't benefit you to have the pricing on your website. Um, and do you do bundles and packages? That's another thing that you should consider, right? So do you bundle together any of your services? For us, like we bundle together a lot of different things when we're working on growth strategies. And that's one of the reasons we don't have the price on the website. Again, I already talked about this, but if you're, you know, you can bundle for people to save money and you can do that whether you're doing a service or material goods and either way you you can list the prices on the website if you're comfortable doing it or if you don't want the prices on the website then you don't have to do it personal choice quite honestly for how you want to handle it but um just some things to consider in terms of how you price and and if you're putting that price on the website there are advantages to posting pricing on your website, regardless of what something costs. One of the biggest advantages is that if you if somebody is priced out or they they don't want to spend that much money, then they're going to disqualify themselves, and you're not going to spend time on prospects who can't actually afford your service. That's one of the things that you know that's a, that's an advantage. The disadvantage is prices are on your website, and you're not conveying how awesome how kick ass your services are people may disqualify themselves based on solely on price and not understand the value that they're getting again not necessarily a bad thing but just something that you do need to consider okay and one of the things that you know we we tell our clients to think about is how does including pricing on your website align with your brand so if you're very upfront, I don't have a problem talking about money and I'll tell you what the prices are and I want to give you all the information and you make a decision and we don't even need to talk if you don't want to, if that's kind of your brand, throw them out there. If you want to be more in control and you want to be able to offer like on the moment, like I like to call them like ability discounts. If I really like you and I really want to do business with you and I'll give you a discount, even though I'm not really offering a discount, then that needs to be put on, you know, then you don't put your prices on your website. That's just one way to control it. So it ha it really think about your brand and what your brand, what would your brand do? And then decide if that works for you. And you can put it on and then say, call for other options. Um, you can not put it on, call for pricing. You, there are so many ways to handle it. Call for, for any um, special specials that are going on right now, anything like that, right? So it's a lot of options. It's not a one size fit all, fits all, and it's not a one answer is the solution. There are many ways to handle it. And you just need to think, what's your brand? How comfortable are you with having the pricing conversation when you talk to somebody? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of you listing your pricing on your website? Just make it, you know, just kind of work it out, work, work through the questions, figure out what makes sense for you. As always, if you've got questions, we've got answers and we can't wait to hear from you and we'll see you next week.